Hello and welcome to Pay Per Click. In this course, you will learn how to get laser targeted traffic to your website. This means that you'll be able to generate the exact kind of traffic that you want to achieve, whether you want to have buyers, shoppers, or information seekers coming to your website. Let's begin by explaining what PPC is all about. While there are numerous ways to generate traffic, the fastest way to get results is pay per click. PPC simply stands for pay per click and it is a traffic generation method which is paid for. However, there is no fixed cost to have your ad placed as your cost depends on how many people click on your ad. PPC might be intimidating as it is a traffic generation method which requires money to be spent. However, PPC is also a science. This means that risk can be calculated and you can measure whether the traffic that you'll be investing will be worthwhile or not. Now let's take a look at an example to see what a pay-per-click advertisement will look like. If you go over to the Google search engine and type in the keyword make money online, Google will return two types of results. The results on the left column below, the yellow zone, are known as organic search results. Organic search results are displayed for free and normally are a consequence of search engine optimization. Whereas search results on the yellow zone and right hand column, these are sponsored clicks. These are pay-per-click ads and are only charged to the advertiser each time a user clicks on the ad. How much this would cost depends on how much the advertisers bid on the term that the surfer typed into the Google search bar as well as other factors which will be discussed throughout this course. We are going to talk very briefly about what is Google AdWords and why it is the best advertising network to run your ads for your business. Google has been winning more web users over the years. Today, Google is the number one most used search engine on the internet. Google receives hundreds of millions of search queries on a daily basis. With no doubt, they are the most powerful advertising network on the internet and most internet marketers prefer network to run their ads on. Why this is so is because Google AdWords cost per click pricing are easy to control cost. No matter what your budget is, Google only charges your ad when a person clicks on your ad. AdWords ads are also displayed when a server query specific keywords. This means that you'll be advertising to an audience who are already interested in what you'd be able to offer. As a result, you'll get highly targeted and quality traffic to your websites. PPC networks are places that you may choose to have your ad placed or shown. There are three main types of PPC networks. Search network, partner network, content network. Search networks are search engine networks like Google AdWords, Yahoo Search Marketing, and MSN. Partner networks are made of Google partners which are normally large website directories. Some examples are Isn Articles, About.com, and Like Us. Content networks are websites or a collection of websites that provide information in various forms such as articles, audios, videos, etc. Some examples include sites like blogs, squeedle lenses, or even independent websites. Pay per click works by starting with an advertiser, bidding an ad space with specific search terms from Google. Each time a web user makes a search query which contains a keyword, Google will then show your ad for the specific keyword you bid for. However, no charges will be incurred to you for having your ad shown. You will then only be charged each time someone clicks on your ad. Given an example for the niche dating for men, you would want to advertise and bid on search terms such as seduce women, attract women, how to talk to girls, and how to flirt with women. So each time any web user makes a query on one or more of the following keywords, your ad will be displayed on the sponsored links column of Google. You'll only then be charged when a user clicks on your dating for men ad. As an internet marketer, you do not need to be intimidated by pay-per-click despite it being a paid method and numerous stories you might have heard on how people have lost their money on pay-per-click marketing. The fact is, PPC is a science and once you acquire this skill, you can experience more success than failure. Pay-per-click marketing also offers many benefits that other forms of traffic generation methods do not. Pay-per-click campaigns are rather easy and very quickly to set up. A new AdWords account can be opened within seconds with a $5 activation fee. You can then put together an entire campaign by setting up your ads and keywords and have the campaign set up and running with traffic coming to your site within 45 minutes. The main gist of PPC is that it is results oriented. 
all your keywords and conversions are trackable so you'll be able to know which keywords are working and which ones are not. Those that are converting, you can scale them up by adding more related terms of that keyword or bid more for higher positions to get more traffic. Alternatively, those that do not convert, you can simply delete them from your campaign. Overall, your risk can be totally calculated. PPC is also extremely targeted. You can bid on selective keywords. This means when web surfers click on your ad, they are already interested in what you might be able to offer them. PPC also allows you to target on specific geographical areas. You can geographically target them to the dot of the worldwide map. Say for example, you're in the real estate business of Beverly Hills. You can geographically target your ads to be shown within a 10 km radius of Beverly Hills. Sounds pretty powerful, right? That's exactly what Google Advertising Network is all about. With PPC, you can also gain competitive intelligence by spying on what your competitors are doing. Find out which keywords they are bidding on, where they are placing their ads, and what their landing pages look like. On top of that, your PPC campaign can also be refined on the fly. If you know what's working and what's not, it will only take a couple of minutes to scale up certain keywords or delete those that are not converting. You'll be gathering lots of data through Google AdWords and you'll be able to make intelligent business decisions based on them because you will know exactly what the market wants. While there are many benefits to PPC, there are some disadvantages to it too. Firstly, PPC is not free. As mentioned earlier, it's a paid method and unfortunately it is a fact also that you can lose money if you don't know what you're doing, which is exactly why you need to go through this course so that you know what to do. PPC also requires experience to be good at it. It takes time to learn and understand the complexities involved. However, by experience, it does not mean you need to have years of experience to make money with PPC. By experience, it could be as little as 2-3 to three weeks to become an expert at it. It all depends on the number of campaigns that you set up and how much you learn from each and every one of them. However, at the end of the day, in PPC, you are really in absolute control. You determine what works and what doesn't. All you have to do is monitor your data closely and make business decisions from there. So how do you succeed in PPC? First and foremost, you need to be patient. No doubt, PPC is the fastest form of traffic generation, but you need to be patient with PPC. Sometimes in the beginning, things might not go as planned. Your ads might not show because you may be bidding too low. You might start spending a lot of money on your keywords and start panicking. Most people bail because of these reasons. So let your campaign simmer and focus on collecting data in the beginning. The second thing is to always do the math. You need to calculate and focus the traffic cost and conversions. Wait these two out to make sure that your revenue will offset your advertising costs and that you'll be profiting. With PPC, you don't need to reinvent the wheel, but you need to stand up by innovating. So do your due diligence research by seeing what other advertisers are doing and if they are still advertising the same ad over a two weeks period, then that goes to show that their campaigns are most likely working. Remember that ultimately in PPC, the key point here is relevancy. So in everything you do with PPC, always remember that relevance is the key. Here are some of the terms that you need to be familiar with in PPC. You will encounter these terms over and over again in your campaigns. CPC stands for cost per click. CTR stands for click-through rates, which is calculated by clicks over impression. CONV stands for conversion rate, which is calculated by sales divided by clicks. QS stands for quality score, which is, will be rated between 1 to 10. ROI stands for return on investment, which will be calculated by revenue minus cost, then divided by cost. Now that you're familiar with most of the terms that will be used in PPC, let's move on to the campaign settings that you should be using for PPC marketing. When you sign up for Google AdWords, make sure you set your time zone according to the geographic area or the tracking time zone that you'll be targeting. For example, if you were setting a campaign to target Singapore, you want to set your time zone to Singapore. If you're tracking your stats with an affiliate network such as ClickBank, you'll want to set your time zone that follows ClickBank's time. This way, you'll be able to track and monitor your stats in a timely manner. Also, one thing to note is once you set your time zone for your Google AdWords account, it is fixed and you cannot change it again. Next is to set a currency that you would like to use for your account. Most marketers use is US dollar currency. However, this option is entirely up to you. 
ideally you want to set your Google AdWords currency the same as the currency that your sales and profits will be generating. As for your geographic target, set the countries and regions or specific places that you will want your ad to be shown at. On the internet, the more popular geographic targets are US, UK, Canada and Australia, as this is where the bulk of most of the internet use sales come from. However, the geographic target is flexible and can be changed at any time in your campaign settings. For networks, choose search and partners. Always remember to keep the content network off unless you decide to do a placement campaign. Content network can be extremely costly if you do not target the right sites to place your ads in. However, when you start out, just use the search and partners and keep the content network switched off. For devices, select desktop and laptop computers. Delivery method. Select accelerated. When you select accelerated, this will allow your ads to be shown as quickly as possible. This way you'll be able to gather data and get traffic as quickly as possible. For ad rotation, select rotate. This is to rotate your ads between two or more ads. This is a split testing process that will help you optimize your campaign. Now let's talk about costing. With Google AdWords, you can control your advertising costs through a daily budget and bid prices. Google also rewards you for having a high quality count. This means that if you have a high quality score, you pay a very much lower cost per click. By setting a daily budget, you will not spend anything more than what you set for your daily budget. This means that if your budget per day is $5, Google will make sure that you will only be spending a maximum of $5 a day. How you set your daily budget per day really depends on your own risk appetite. You can even start as low as $1 per day if you wish. Ultimately, the bigger your budget, the more data you'll be able to collect from your campaign to make profitable decisions. If you have small budgets, you can still be successful in your campaigns. The only thing is that it will take a little more time as you are stretching your, stretching your data collection over a longer period of time. What you should note also is that normally you will spend significantly less than usually half of what your daily budget is. For example, if your daily budget is set to $20 per day, you will most likely only spend about $10 a day. When it comes to determining your bid price, this is where it is very important to always do the math. The two very important variables you need to determine are your conversion rate break even CPC. To calculate your conversion rate, the formula is number of conversions times number of clicks. For example, if only one person purchases your product out of 100 clicks, then your conversion rate is 1%. Next is to calculate your break even CPC. The formula is conversion rate times payout. So once you've determined your conversion rate, all you have to do is multiply it by your commission payout and that be your break-even CPC. For this example, carrying forward your conversion rate of 1% and say your commission payout for the product you're going to market is $30, then the break-even CPC would be 1% times $30 would be $0.30. Cents. This means that you can afford to pay up to $0.30 cents for each cost per click. Of course, your objective of marketing is not to break even. You want to make a profit, right? Then all you have to do is to make sure that your cost per click is less than $0.30 cents and you will start profiting. If your cost per click is more than 30 cents, then you'll be uh, incurring losses. One more formula you should le learn is how to calculate your return on investment. The formula is revenue minus cost divided by cost. For example, if you generate $1,000 from an ad cost of only $700, then your profit will be $300. Your ROI will then be 1,000 minus 700, then divide by 700, which equals to 43%. Ideally, the IRI to aim for is 100% or more. If you're not getting 100%, then tweak your campaign until you achieve that. What you should know also is that Google rewards you for having a high quality score. The reason for this is because relevancy is the key in PPC. Users want to see relevant ads, so advertisers should present relevant ads. Google, on the other hand, wants a good experience for both the users and advertisers so that they will come back and use Google. This explains why Google places such an importance in relevancy and rewards you for having high quality ads. There are three components to a quality score. Click-through rate, relevancy, landing page. Click-through rate is the biggest component to quality score. Click-through rate is determined by how many people click on your ad over how many times your ad is shown. This is a feedback from the millions of users themselves that allow Google to determine which ad is the most relevant for ad serving. Relevancy is the second largest component of quality score. 
This is determined by the relevancy of your keywords, ads, and also user search query. This is done by Google analyzing the context of the user's search query to see how well it relates to the Google keyword ad ad. Finally, the last component is landing page. Your ad is only useful to the user if the landing page you lead your users to helps them find and obtain the information they were looking for. It should be user-friendly, easy to navigate, quick to load, and have relevant information to the user's search query. The better your quality score is, the better ad rank and lower cost per click you'll be paying. A good quality score is between 7 to 10. An average quality score is between 4 to 6. A quality score that needs attention is between 1 to 3. In fact, if your quality score is 1, your ad wouldn't even be shown. So remember to always check back your click-through rate, keyword, ad and landing pages to make sure that everything fits together to produce a high quality score. Now that you know how the math works, let's chart out how PPC campaigns flow should be. Find keywords that you would like to target and bid for. Set up your campaign. Add your keywords, categorize your ad group, and write your ad copy. Once your campaign goes live, your traffic should be sent to your landing page. From your landing page, send your visitors to the sales page offer. Before you set up any PPC campaigns, you need to determine which one of the following is your campaign's objective. Are you using this traffic generation method to make a sale? Or to generate leads for opt-ins and relationship building? Or simply to gain competitive intelligence? You need to determine your campaign's objective because you'll be bidding different types of keywords, write different ad copies, and create different landing pages according to each and every one of them. If your objective is to make sales, the type of keywords you should bid for are bias keywords. Some examples uh, types of bias keywords to bid on are product names, competitor product names, book titles, book author names, XYZ review, XYZ scam, buy product, XYZ ebook. If your objective is to generate leads or gain competitive intelligence, bid on shoppers and information seekers type of keywords. Example type of shopper keywords are XYZ lessons, where XYZ is your niche, treatments, natural remedies, guides, courses, solutions. Information seekers keywords are very broad terms, and normally these search queries are with the intent of finding general or free information. Some examples of information seeker keywords are your general niche keyword, how to, free, advice, tips, help, download. Now that you've identified your campaign's objective and understand the different types of keywords, how to obtain your keywords is by using the Google Keyword Tool. While there are many types of paid keyword tools out there, which is the best keyword tool for Google AdWords other than Google Keyword Tool itself. Furthermore, this tool is readily available and it is absolutely free. You can access this tool simply by typing in Google Keyword Tool on the Google search engine and it will show up on the first page of the search query results. There are six steps to obtaining and sorting your keywords. The first step is to type in your general niche keyword into the keyword tool and get keyword ideas related to your root keyword. Next, export the list to an Excel sheet on your desktop. Third, to get more keywords, type in the authority site URL of the particular niche you are in and then export it to your desktop as well. An authority site is the first website that appears on organic listing of Google search engine when you query for your root keyword. After that, export this second keyword Excel sheet and compile it together with the first one where you get a keyword ideas from your root keyword. The next step is to pick out relevant keywords for your campaign. When doing this, remember that relevancy is the key. So make sure that you select the keywords that will be relevant to your user's search query, ad copy, landing page, and sales offer. Finally, sort them to ad groups. How you do this is by grouping keywords which you can display the same ad for. Under Keywords, there's also something called Match Types. By using Match Types, it will help you optimize your campaigns further. There are four different Match Types in Keywords. Broad, Phrase, Exact, Negative. Let's demonstrate each of them more easily with a keyword example, Yellow Guitar. Broad Match is the default option. Your ad will appear as long as the user searches for Yellow and Guitar in any order and even along with other terms. For example, if a user searches for the phrase, my yellow guitar is cool, or 
John plays the guitar and likes yellow shoes. Your ads will automatically appear. Broad matches are often less targeted. For the phrase match, your ad will only trigger if the keyword yellow guitar is typed in this order. Your ad will also be shown along with other terms as long as the keyword is queried in this order. For example, if a user were to type I want to buy yellow guitar or acoustic yellow guitar and strings, your ad will trigger. For the exact match, your ad will only appear if the user typed in the exact keyword. In this example, your ad will only trigger when a user types in yellow guitar. The ne negative keyword match types comes in if there are specific keywords that you do not wish to trigger your ad for. This is normally the case for keywords like free, download, and rapid share because users searching with these keywords will most likely not buy from you. So if you were to insert a negative keyword free in your campaign, when a user types in free yellow guitar, your ad will not be shown at all. When it comes to keywords, it is important to know when to get rid of particular keywords from your campaign. This is to avoid continuous spending on keywords that do not result in profits or positive return of investment. There are only two rules to this measure. When your keyword excel exceeds 100 clicks and not a single sale has been made, then you should get rid of it. When your keyword cost exceeds two times the potential revenue of the product, then you should also get rid of it. This makes it important to constantly check your AdWords account and monitor the stats of your keywords, especially at the beginning of your campaign. Now that you understand everything about keywords, let's move along to ad groups. As talked about briefly earlier, an ad group is basically a list of related keywords for which you display the same ad. An example ad group would be Seduce Women. In this example, the keywords that will be categorized under this ad group will be keywords like Seduce Women, How to Seduce Women, How to Seduce Her, and I want to see this woman. This means that all of these keywords would trigger the same ad. Ideally, an ad group should have between 5 to 20 keywords. But of course, the less keywords, the better, as this will be more targeted to your ad. Once you've got your ad groups, it's time to write some ad copies. Spending time on your ad copy is important because your ad copy will be the one that will capture the attention and trigger them to click. The secret to writing good ad copies with high click through rate is to write emotional copies. Emotion sells and emotions grab attention. Your ad copy should start with pain, state the pain and finally get into the pleasure. This is a pain versus pleasure concept and these are two main emotions that urge human beings to act. For your ad copy, there are limitations to the number of characters you can use. In your headline, you are limited to 25 characters. For description 1 and 2, you are limited to 35 characters. And in your display URL, you are limited to 25 characters. The good news here is you do not need to write long of copies. They just need to be short and concise. Since click-through rates play such an important role for your quality score, here are some tips that will help improve your click-through rate. Firstly, always highlight your unique or your emotional selling point. If there is something unique about you, then tell them. If your product can spark certain kinds of emotions, tell them too. At the end of the day, give customers what they want and tell them what they want and need to know. Next, put in the keyword in your headline as this will be bolded when the keyword is typed in. Headline is the most imperative part of your ad as it is the first line that users will read in any copy. For optimization purposes, Make sure your keyword is in your headline or at least in your description. Your keyword will also be highlighted in your headline and description when a user types it in their web search. Also use a camel case that means to capitalize the first letter of each word. Also use symbols in your ad. It has been tested and proven that symbols helps increase click-through rates. It helps draw users to the ad. Use symbols such as question mark, percentage sign, quotes, star, slashes. Finally, in your ad, it's always important to have a call to action simply by telling them what to do. For example, your call to action could be, read my shocking story to see how, secrets that gurus don't tell you, here's how to lose 9 pounds in 11 days. Finally, use a social proof point of view when you can. By using a social proof approach, it will create a personal touch which creates users trust. It will urge them to want to know more about because it is reliable to and relatable to personal experience. 
Now at the fourth step of the PPC flow process, landing pages. There are three main types of landing pages, pre-sell page, opt-in page, product review page. A pre-sell landing page is basically a page which pre-sells the customers into a solution. A pre-sell landing page should have a well-written story which states the pains of the problem and the benefits of the solution. You may want to approach it from a social proof point of view where you have experienced the product before and achieved specific results through the usage of the product that you are about to recommend to them. Personal recommendations are powerful and should be applied to marketing where possible. The second type of landing page is an opt-in page. This type of landing page is used if your objective is to generate leads, build lists, and relationship with your prospects. An opt-in page is very often known as a squeeze page as well. This is a very straightforward page which has an opt-in form where users can fill in their name and email address. It is a very similar page where the user will normally have no other options to navigate to except to only opt-in. Finally, the last type of landing page is a product review page. A product review page is a page which provides a non-biased summary of a product. Normally, the pros and cons of the product are shared and a star rating is given to the product. This strategy can be used to review on your own personal products or make comparison with similar products of your niche. Next, we will talk about split testing. In PPC, we must always split test. Split testing will help increase click-through rates, lower your overall cost, and increase conversions. As we talked about pay-per-click as results-oriented, this is exactly why we need to gather data and make decisions from it. One of the areas to split test is your ad copy. Earlier in the campaign settings, we have talked about selecting the rotate option for your ads. The reason for this campaign setting is to split test your ad copy between two or more ads. You can do the split testing with different headlines, descriptions, and display URL. Ideally, the click-through rate that you should aim to achieve is a minimum of 1%. Let your ads run for at least 50 clicks before you decide to discard any ads. Constantly test on different ads until you find the optimal one. The next split testing area is your landing page. Inside Google AdWords, there's an option called Website Optimizer. Inside Website Optimizer, you can split test between different landing pages. This means that traffic will be sent to two or more landing pages and you can track which one converts better by inserting the type of action you want to track. The action could be for the user to click through to another website or to opt into your form or even to make a sale purchase. With landing page split testing, test one thing at a time. Test between different header copies, layouts, colors, and fonts. You'd be surprised that small tweaks in your landing pages can create a huge impact in your conversion rate. The final split testing is on your ad positions. Your ad position should always be on page 1. Page 1 of the sponsored links has ad positions between 1 to 8. Increase or lower your bids to test which ad position gives the highest click-through rates. So for positions split testing, you want to test between positions 1 to 3 and 4 to 8 to see which one has the highest click-through rates for your ad campaign. Before we conclude PPC, we will discuss briefly about Google Slap. If you have been in the arena of internet marketing and PPC, you've most likely heard of the term Google Slap before. A Google Slap is when your cost per click suddenly increases to $5 to $10 and your quality drastically drops to 1 out of 10. A Google Slap occurs when Google feels that your campaign is irrelevant and does not provide a good user experience. This could be the case if you have extremely low click-through rates, irrelevant ads, and extremely poor landing pages. Your landing page may be loading too slowly, have too many affiliate links, and overall not user-friendly. If a Google Slap ever happens to you, you can either download your entire campaign to your desktop with a software called AdWords Editor, make some changes to it, and re-upload it back to your Google account to see if it works. If it does not, then what you may need to do is delete the entire domain name and get a new one. Don't fret or get discouraged with a Google Slap. Try to find out which part of your campaign went wrong and just do a better next time. Finally, coming to the end of PPC, to wrap up, pay-per-click is an extremely powerful traffic generation method. It is easy to set up, laser targeted, and decision makings are based upon your statistical data of your campaign. PPC is a science, and risk can be calculated. Approach it from a business and investment point of view. Be confident and apply all the strategies you have learned throughout this course. Test, 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 refine your campaign, and keep scaling up your campaigns. Last but not least, remember, that you are in absolute control of your PPC success. Good luck and enjoy!